Hello everyone. In this video I want to show you how to be able to take your old disc camera negatives and convert them into digital images that you can edit and print later. The most important thing you're going to need is a scanner with slide and a negative imaging capability. It's for the 35 millimeter negatives and this is for the slides and this is the light that you use to expose it. You can't just use your old crappy scanner and adapt some sort of weird light apparatus to it and stick the negatives underneath. That will never work. Who would even try such a thing? Now when it comes to doing your first one, try to pick out, try to dig through your pile and pick out some of the crappiest pictures you've taken like a, you know, a road trip to Uncle Bird's trailer and Cleveland or something like that, you know, some, something you don't mind trashing too much because uh, you're going to need to make a uh, light shield with your first batch of negatives that you use. Plus you want to work on your technique of cutting the negatives. Look at it this way, 35 millimeter comes in one long roll and they cut it up into more manageable sections. Why should disc pictures, disc negatives be any different? When you're cutting the negative, is you see how it's got the uh, large opaque area here in the center if you cut really close to the edge of the uh, wheel the center part a lot of light will get through that so you want to cut as close to the negative as possible so we're just gonna take the exacto knife and start cutting okay so now the the wheel's been removed from the negative and this is what we have you know with the wheel removed from the negative now um, you're gonna need to cut this in half in order for it to fit on the scanner so what you want to do is look through it and got a picture of your feet or somebody's flashed out or something like that so look at the negatives and select a negative at that point and that's where you want to make your cut Okay, so we found our spot where we want to make our cut, and so we make the one cut on one side, and then we cut it as close to a half. There's 15 pictures, so it's not going to be a half. It's not going to be a perfect half, I mean. Okay. Okay, now you have the two halves of the negative that you're going to work with. What you need to do now is take these halves and uh, you're gonna need to make a light shield to keep the light from going out. If you just take these the way they are and lay them on the glass, and even though it's a really small area that's gonna scan, the light will just bleed out of, across it and overexpose it. I took a little piece of cardboard, something a little rigid, and uh, I took one of the negatives and I traced it onto the uh, piece of cardboard. Just traced the shape of it and then cut out this light shield. Um, that's the next step you need to do after you cut your negatives is make a little light shield out of cardboard. Before we start scanning these we gotta do a little repair here as you can see like so we're done cutting them now they're covered in dust so we gotta get all that dust off of there so you can use the canned air to blow it off of there or um, just blow it off or brush it off whatever you need to do just trying to handle the negative as, as much as possible. Okay, this is the same negative with just me blowing on it, and as you can see, I did, you know, I got pretty much all of it off of there, and it's ready to put on the scanner. So we're just going to lay these directly on the glass like this. Emulsion side up. It'll save you a lot of time flipping images and rotating images, and it'll also make it'll save you a ton of time when you make your initial scan because it's going to come out exactly the way the picture was printed years ago so it'll make it easier for you to edit and I'll show you what I mean by that in a second and so you just take your template that you made and lay it over the negatives and then just kinda move the negatives up to about the middle here this is where you know you're gonna find all this stuff out as you start messing with it but you know I've got the template there kind of in the center now I'm gonna take the uh, light and lay it over it and we're ready to start scanning um, I'm gonna film right off the screen because I don't have that awesome stuff that you guys do where you just where you capture the screen images as they're being done that's really neat 
Um, someday I'll figure that out. But anyway, first thing you need to do is open up your scanner software. Go over here to just go ahead and click scan. Select your scanner. The first thing we want to do is preview it to make sure we got everything set up right. It looks good. The photo cell isn't blocked or anything like that. This is what calibrates the uh, light to the scanner and that's really important that that isn't blocked. Um, so we're ready to scan our negative. So you just go to the uh, scan menu and go to negatives from TMA. Now give this a minute because the lamp has to warm up. And then our negatives start to appear. And here I cut the negative off so that's easy to fix. And I'll just take care of that. Okay. So it looks like I got everything. I just made a quick adjustment. Just slid the negative over a little more. And uh, just made a quick adjustment. Now what you're going to want to do, this step is really important. You're going to want to make all your adjustments now. The first thing I do is the color adjustment. Because here you can see that there's kind of a tint to it. And, um, you know, as vibrant as some of these colors may look to you, they still, they trust me, they've got this weird kind of reddish tint, and you, you want to take that out. You want to restore the original colors, and that's what the scanner is going to allow you to do. This scanner is going to do a lot of work for you. First thing I want to do is go over here to Color Adjustment, and then I, I select Original Color, and then I click Auto. Before I click auto, let me show you what it's going to look like so that you can see the difference that it makes. Okay, so I'm going to original color. And I click auto. And it changes the color of it. And it gives it a little more white and everything like that. You've set the color. Now you go over to sharpen. Make sure you select high go over to resolution and this is really important otherwise you'll you'll get you'll scan really quick but you won't get anything out of it make sure you go over here to 4800 4800 it is everyone else uses it and plus it's the only one that seems to work don't mess with mirror or invert colors or anything because the scanner already did all of that for you if you like, you can go to lighten and darken. Maybe there's one picture in particular that you know you want. You want to change the contrast and, uh, you know, lighten it up a little and stuff like that. It does really, you can get a really dramatic result from adjusting that. Here I'm just sliding it around, mid-tones and stuff. You wash it out. So, but anyway, what I do is I just leave it on auto and uh, let it take care of itself. Okay, so now everything looks good and you're looking at your negatives and you can see a lot of real detail in them and stuff like that. The colors look pretty good. So you're ready to scan. So all you gotta do is click accept and go find something really fun and interesting to do for the next 25 or 30 minutes because that's how long it's gonna take for the scanner to scan your negatives.